Time now for GMA Buzz Picks, ABC News Live bonus. Every month we chat with an author from the GMA Book Club. Today, author Sally Hepworth is joining us to talk about her eighth book, a thriller titled The Soulmate that has readers hooked. The novel about marriage, secrets, and betrayal even hit the New York Times list in its first week of sales. And Sally Hepworth herself is joining me now to tell us all about it. Sally, thanks for coming on. Now, I find this so interesting. You say you got the idea for this novel during COVID lockdown. When you and your girlfriend started a group chat about day-to-day -day marital issues. So, first of all, how did that chat start? And how did that end up turning into a thriller? Look, it was a stressful time. And it's important <laughs> to say that my husband lives. He is alive. We Wonderful. have proof of life. Glad to hear it. It was, it was a stressful time. And my girlfriends and I found that we really were able to take out a lot of that marital tension by getting onto the WhatsApp and just texting each other the little things our husbands were doing, like breathing, you know, <laughs> having the audacity to walk past us and that kind of thing. And uh, so I thought, you know, the idea of a book about marriage and murder might have a market around this time. So that was part of it. And the other part was a article that I read about a man who lived opposite a cliff, um, much like the characters in my book, and also like the characters in my book, he made his life's work out of going to people who had come to that cliff to take their own lives and convincing them to come away from the ledge. And so I put those two things together, the marriage and murder and a cliff, and I came up with The Soulmate. Now, in your story, he finally goes to talk someone off the ledge, as he so frequently had done before, and he's unsuccessful. And then it turns out he actually knew that woman on the ledge, and that's kind of where the story starts to unfold. Now, you call this a murderous love story. We don't often hear those words together. So how did this story morph from what you thought it was in the beginning to what you ended up writing in The Soulmate? Yes. Well, I, I heard recently that I write the funniest books about murder that anyone has ever read before, which I took as a compliment. Um, certainly, this book does have an element of murder, but really at its heart, it's about families, it's about love, it's about the things that relationships push us to and what we put up with and what maybe we shouldn't put up with. And it's all explored through these two women. There's two marriages. One is really romantic and it's got that chemistry of traditional soulmates. And the other one's a bit of a pragmatic kind of entry into love. And the two relationships intertwine, as you might imagine. And, and we get to look at what really is a soulmate. Well, it's clearly landing with readers. I know you just finished a big book tour in the U.S., and I understand you had some adventures of your own along the way. Let's just say that I might have the start of a new book. I, I was in a layover in L.A., and I found out that I had a 13-hour delay before my flight to New York. And this was... This was the great bit. There was no hotel rooms available in LA because WrestleMania was on. And this led me to being in a taxi with two strangers that I'd just met in the LA lounge. And we ended up sharing a hotel room, the three of us who were strangers that had just met. So I think if that's not the beginning of a murderous story, I don't know what is. The Strangers, that could be your title. I already see it. <laughs> Sally Hepworth, it's so great to talk to you. I know, by the way, your previous book, um, The Mother-in-Law, has been optioned for a TV show with Amy Poehler, so congratulations on that. Uh, the Soulmate thank is available you. online and in stores. Sally, again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.